Hi there, folks. So let's talk a little bit about this supplement four that is related. It's still now post-processing, but this is something called co-processing. So what is co-processing? Something that probably you're very well aware is that CFD simulations that they can generate a lot of data. Okay, it can be really expensive to to post-process that. So the, the the way that we have done everything so far. First, we have been working with, with a small cases, but also we compute the solution and then we open that with, with Pataform, Pataview, or whatever you are using, and then you start to extract surfaces, AC surfaces, or couplets. And that can be expensive, especially if you have large data cases, okay, stuff like you are doing DNA simulation, saving all those times that it is expensive. So the idea be behind co-processing is that while you are running, you are only extracting the data you are interested in. Okay, you need to save the whole field. So for instance, you are only interested in a cut plane or in one ISO surface. You just put that coprocessor there, save that data and you can post-process that, that data, okay? So in principle, uh, coprocessors like function objects, there are very specific function objects that you can save, string lines, as a surfaces and so on. So this will save you a lot of data. The only drawback is that you need to know a priori some values, like you have cut planes, you need to know a priori where you need to cut your domain, or if you have ISO surfaces, what are the, the values that you want to, to use. So in this directory, you're going to find this, this case, it's ready, the case you need to run it, we're going to run a few iterations, but basically we have this geometry and what we're going to do is do the co-processing, but compute some cut plane, the string lines, okay, save that information we're not going to save the whole domain okay so here you have some basic instructions and if you open the control dictionary you're going to find there are many function objects so this one is for ISO surfaces cut planes near wall field patch surface string lines and wall bounded string lines. so here you have all these function objects besides some others so see that to to create ISO surfaces look at the you access the function object is tight surfaces you have the typical controls and just choose a surface format in this case btk we know we can open that with, with, with part of you or any other advanced you no know, scientific visualization software okay you have many options there and you choose the fields then interpolation method you have many methods available but recommended this one and then you create the isosurface so you give this name and then type isosurface isofield your field is p and then value of p where you have pressure equal to start it can be t whatever the field must exist so basically what you are doing is computing this isosurface only this one and you are going to save only this data in vtk form so you are saving a lot of space okay this is co-processing and you're going to have it here you know you have here some explanation you have isosurfaces too and this is what you're going to have okay look at that you are only saving this data later we're going to see you have it also for q criterion you can save only the isosurface but also the fields for for coloring okay then you have the cut plans it's pretty much something similar but you create now cut plan so a cut plan you know the location and save only the information you need in these cut plans. Okay, you are only saving these cut plans with the, the information that you are giving here. Okay, so see that you give the options there. You have many options available, and this is what you have. And the same will be with patch surface. Patch surfaces, you are only saving one surface. Okay, you need to save the whole domain. In this case, just save the car, and you are visualizing just this field will be white plus in this surface. You need to save your whole mesh. Case you have mesh on a mesh that is one terabyte, you need to save that just only that surface. So you see that is very handy. Remember the only drawback that a priori you need to know the name of the patches or the ISO values or the location of these co uh, these function objects. And then we have a string lines, something similar. You have options, some options specific to string lines. And here you want to release a string lines with this line. You can release a string lines for a plane. They have many options, okay? So later you can play with these options. These are specific options, how you integrate those string lines. And this is what you have. In this case, you have a vertical line here and you are only saving this string lines. You need to save your whole field. Now to save that. And these are string lines so attached with using near field body or attached to the surface. So I see that this one can now can reduce the amount of data that you are saving. So let's go here and 
just to show you, you have your advanced post-processing and this is the case that we're working, it's poor car. And as you open the system, okay, here you're going to have all your functional objects. Okay, well, here you have some stuff that I put there. Okay, we're not addressing that. So I see that classical functional object for forces, force coefficients, Y plus, Q criterion, wall shear stresses, whatever. But here, now you start to have isosurfaces, okay? So remember, here you are not saving the whole field. We're going to see later. You are just saving that specific information. So let us let me launch the case, okay? So export car and run all. So it's going to run only 25 iterations, okay? So see that also going, you have this co-process and you can have different saving times, okay? So see that here we're using the same output time, okay? So as you go here, it will be this output time every 25 iterations. But you can put different times here. So for instance, you can save it with another frequency and you are only saving this information, okay? So I will let it run the case. It's running for only 25 iterations. By the way, here, this case is ready to run. So it's the one you can run up to a thousand iterations and you can get a solution. But for our purposes, I, let's set up everything, 25 iterations, uh, and let's see what is our outcome. Okay, my case, this simulation is done, 25 iterations. And as you look at your output screen, see that you have here some information related to the string lines, okay, it's computing the string lines, but also saving those, those fu functional objects for co-processing. And you have your traditional output here, now minimum and maximum values. So I always like to, to plot that information, coefficients, and you can go also to the beginning Let's go to the beginning of the simulation just to see. It's showing you a lot of information, but also sometimes at the beginning when you use these co-processing tools, in particular near fields and uh, string lines, you are going to get this warning. Okay, don't pay attention to this. This is a warning because you are starting from a from a, a field, no a zero field, so you have problem to compute that integral. But it is only a, a warning. Huh? Okay, so this is the solution, and let's say what are those. No, the, the, the data that we save. So all this data is saved in the folder post-processing. You are not saving anything in your time directories. In your time directories, you only have okay, the fields that you are computing here. You have your, in the post-processing post folder, you're going to have the, that data. So for instance, look at an isosurfaces. As you look here, time 25, see that you have the file in format BTK and yet there you have that specific ISO surface. The same will be for ISO surfaces too. You have the cut plane here. So all the cut planes that you save that information. Uh, also patch surface, this is only the, 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 we select there the car. And then as you go into sets, here you have the string list. And just to show you what is happening there, just to make it clear. So see that I'm launching part of you. I not open the case and see that I will go and let me go post processing and patch surface. And let me go this one 25 and let me open Y plus. I know that I'm saving there and see that you are accessing only the car patch and you have that information available there. Okay. So Here's where it can become very handy using this. You can you can reduce the amount of data that you are saving. Okay, so you have your white plus. You can also let's use better pressure. And you're saving just that specific data there. Okay, so see then for instance if I want to open string lines, okay, or let's say cut lines. Let me open cut lines in 25 and let me open this. So see that each one will have a different variable that you show. So the, see here that you can access velocity in this cut plane and you didn't have to save all the mesh at all. So this is super handy. You are doing like less simulation, DNA simulations with really large measures. Okay, you need to save all those time steps just to get a cut plane. You'll save this specific data and that's all, okay? The drawback is that you need to, to know the values now. So that is important, for instance, if we have 
uh, ISO surfaces. So let me use an ISO surface here and see that I have ISO surfaces of, of constant, P constant. Okay, let me use this one that is colored by P, okay? So you put it and see that, but you need to know this value. You, know, you cannot change this, okay? You need to know that value, okay? You get that one. And also we have one for Q criterion. Okay, Q criterion will let you save the field. Okay, the field. Okay, you have it there, and let me open one. Uh, you can see the vortices here better. So you see that starting to, to grow there, but you need you need to let it run for a longer time. It's just 25 iterations. Okay, the only the other way to do this is getting the whole field using function objects or even doing that computation here in 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 part in part of computing the, the the q criterion and for the la the last one let me open the string lines string lines that you have it in sets and see that let me use the string lines here and for instance this one you have age or resident time and see that you have the string lines there with resident time and this is it okay so this is the idea of coprocessing. Only save that specific data. In this case, we save it in VTK format. You have some other formats available, but VTK goes fine most of the time. So this was, this was for coprocessing. Okay. So thank you for your attention, and see you next time. Bye.